Okay, here we go. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. This, first of all, gotta establish the first foundational principle, which is that mankind's social psyche. Is this working? Is a collective. What is most important for all of us individuals is that we're integrated. What matters the most is that we are part of the whole collective of humanity. So plurality and that we belong to the species is the strongest um, foundational base for understanding the reasons that motivate us, the things that um, propel us to um, to care about what we do and what others do. Therefore, when somebody, let's just imagine ourselves in a cave day situation and somebody points a gun at another person. At that moment, the human mind, which has evolved for the vast majority of its formative uh, path, 99.9% .9 of, 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 of a unchanging behavior has been our physicality. That means our brain and therefore our, the dynamics, the chemical and the, the wiring, sort of say, uh, uh, schematics of our natural psychology um, is given to us by this 99% um, traveling uh, environment or temporal environment in which we have formed. Uh, this happens to be the basis for uh, something else that we used to talk a lot about, which is what is most fitting and most comfortable as far as righteous or virtue or truth or forget righteous and virtue, but just optimal and truth about sexuality we talked about, about a bunch of times before given to us by this evolution universe. so what happens when a person raises a gun at somebody the mind goes berserk because in comparison in other words what it, it see the, the problem is that a lot of people today like like you were just saying believe that war is bunched together they see it as bunched together like one thing human violence aggression fighting war it's just one thing this is not so war is a um, a phenomena of the the col collectivity of humanity it's something that we do organize uh, organized through our intelligence this intelligence which has done a a little leap this this one percent or this point one percent of our evolutionary history all of a sudden we're writing we're writing and we're speaking and we're something happened to us compared to the 99 previous trajectory that our bodies uh, have uh, undergone have traveled that have given us this form um, and it has created this new Existence, this new manifestation of our of our body. This could lead into theology, but I'm not going to go there. What is important to understand is that what governs the vast majority of everything that feels right and seems right to our physical, our physio our physiology and 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 the workings of our uh, mind as it evolved this 99.9% .9 of our evolutionary course is um, all to do with this with our hostilities our aggressions our, our uh, wanting to fight our angers being expressed through Jesus I hope I hope this okay being expressed through our physicality the time it takes our hand to give that punch to kick to lift a rock and throw it across 15 meters maybe 
you know these these limitations it are what has governed and given shape to our brain for this 99 percent of our evolutionary course suddenly something happened to us and we are building we're writing we're um, putting into uh, written form you know uh, languages something happened again I don't want to go into theology because this can e there's something that happened there but in any case um, so what happens now when somebody points a gun at you and you were not expecting it the vast normalcy of us says wait that is wrong there's no way that somebody can just so coldly decide he can kill me with by pressing a trigger or that I can so coldly press a trigger and kill somebody something is aberrant it doesn't befit what the fabric our, our conscience uh, has evolved to understand as as plausible as normal as 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 the extent of existence and so when that moment happens and everything happens very quickly we quickly accept it if you if you notice I mean, if you notice I don't know if it ever happened to anybody but I think we are exposed to culture enough and we talk about it enough to know that we don't quick we don't naturally flow to see where our gun is you know if somebody kicks you in the face you naturally lift your leg and kick them back as as that has been the predominant 99 percent if somebody grabs you by the by the neck you grab them by the arm and it's much more flowing because that has been the 99 percent the great course of our of our evolutionary uh, formation but when somebody suddenly is able to press a trigger and kill you or drop a bomb or all these weapons of, of instant killing occur we are clumsy and this clumsiness we, we I mean we're culturally trained to maybe uh, we educate ourselves to look for a gun to defend ourselves right but in reality the experience the human experience is one of disbelief it's not supposed to happen first of all it's not supposed to happen that um, that the same species wants to kill itself kind of thing that's that's also part of our um, our, our refusal our rejection because this, the whole of the species wants to preserve and and exist and evolve and move forward and so one that's why killing life is empathically em empathetically uh, un uh, awkward it feels wrong because we are em uh, we have empathy towards life and and our empathy is much uh, even much stronger within the collective of our own species so f there's that and then there is the fact that so quickly something does not occur says our brain so at that moment though we have made it part of this reality this p last uh, point zero percent one percent or point one percent of our existence weapons have been are now part of it so there is a tiny little bit that has started to very tiny little bit compared to our vast course of evolution that in which we have known picking up a club and killing people you know da, da, da. Um, even perhaps before uh, we invented land uh, writing you know uh, but it's still what gives us the awkwardness the the uh, the sort of the rupture into the fabric or the flow of normalcy is the proportion everything in understanding life has to do with uh, the the relativity given by proportions interacting that is sort of uh, that's the basis for understanding why um, why things happen it's not in any case I don't want to change the subject but um, so what do we do when that happens when it occurs that somebody wants to um, wants to shoot and kill <laughs> we immediately process it and say we accept it but when we accept it we don't really accept it because ultimately what wins in our sense of overall 
a harmony and um, truth and a bunch of um, other very beautiful words perhaps that I could get into right now that have to do with that 99.9% .9 of, of what has given our, us our form and our, our sensibility of what is normal towards what is normal says no that was not supposed to happen even though we learn to accept it we still don't accept it so at that very moment something happens we um, hold we take um, in Spanish they say we 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 give him the bill you know we uh, we we it's like okay I'm good but I'm I'm writing it down in, in my little black book you know you you you're uh, you <laughs> you got one coming to you you know I mean you, I'm gonna write you a bill for that one that's our brain does that and so and so has the world developed and become per this condition and so this what this understanding does is it differentiates war because that's what war is war is the uh, situation where the limitations of our body how far we can run how far we can throw a rock how strong we can hit w uh, with our fist and give a kick uh, is no longer ruling into the normal temporal uh, existence of our bodies on this planet uh, and thus um, a, a, a new, it's sort of like a new layer something else is introduced a different class, a different scale of, of something that has been introduced to civilization which is war because it comes with all it, it, it was created by these effects and so it's like a different it's like a beast in itself it's not connected it's not joined it's not part of uh, what people loosely might conclude that it started somewhere inside human nature no we produced it with this new intelligence that human beings have that has invented things that before for that 99% of our past we didn't have like vaccines and cars and buildings and, and written language and uh, we, we didn't have these things uh, we didn't have war either um, you know basically the club you know that, that we would kill somebody with in, 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 in prehistoric days was invented uh, alongside the wheel <laughs> if, if to make a a sort of a more animated um, idea of, of, of um, in order to visualize and imagine the this different structure of reasoning that uh, has us understood okay now I completely lost but I think I made the point I think I, I, I think I, uh, I already made the point there um, and so the, 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 the important part of this is that the state of a civilization there are two important points if we invented the car we can also uninvent it we can also realize wait a second our legs are becoming weaker which we're doing already because green organic self-sustainability ecological science this is all this new movement of, of that has that is um, expanding out of the understanding of of of, of, uh, of um, natural sciences and, and and the way the ecology the world is one symbiotic uh, body and everything it has given um, birth to many ideas like for example that uh, we are evolving to no longer uh, you know our bodies are changing because we we get on trains and we get in cars and, and so we can now consciously say well what do we do we compensate by going to the gym right for different reasons intuitively and maybe some people thought of this precise thing and and they said we better start going to the gym but in any case we are now conscious uh, that we can uh, look at the things that we've invented and we can uh, rid ourselves of them if we want to if we want to be good to the species if we want to no longer harm our evolution 
We can say, well, we better get rid of carbon dioxide, for example. We seem to care about that now. We want clean air. Before, in the industrial era, you know, people would breathe soot. And they thought, well, you know, whatever, we'll get used to it. It's not the end of the world. Don't we, don't we, don't we breathe the air in front of a campfire all the time? Now we realize that that, that it has carcinogens. And so we're trying to remove something that we have invented. So war is just something that we've invented. And we can therefore say, well, which is nothing new. We've been saying we, we hate it. It's hurting humanity. We just didn't maybe have the, a sophisticated... Uh, broken down analysis that could make it easier for us to start taking the taking each member apart and one thing that it's important to understand is that uh, it's not a necessity of the human psyche it is not something that we will come up with anyways it is a result of yes our intelligence and the combination of our intelligence and our nature that has produced once we have produced those weapons then came war. War did not exist before we picked up that club or before we made that slingshot, before we invented that first, that first um, um, spear and threw it at a person instead of an animal. Before that, there was no war. War came after that. This is very important to understand. It's absolutely essential to understand this and to see it clearly if um, if uh, people are uh, other uh, many of us are going to improve and and uh, uh, and grow in the work and the studies and uh, the uh, the work that we're doing, okay, that's it. That's not too bad. I hope you watched it. It was only seventeen minutes. Hi, Sandy.